Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review over in the beer room and obviously it's not warm so I've got my big coat on, my woolly hat and uh, it's Friday and I'm feeling an imperial stout, sod it eh? So, um, going back to last week when we was in the Bournemouth area of the world over to Wimborne to the Eight Arch Brewing Company Never heard of them till last week. So it's really nice that I managed to snag six different beers out of their craft beer fridge. Um, this is Hiding Behind Shadows, an Imperial Stat that's 8.9%. It does say something on the back, so I will read it. Our Big Dark Imperial Stat returns for 2023. Based on an historical recipe, this beer is huge. Dark chocolate flavour, backed up with bold bitterness. Um, yeah, we went down there. We've been to Badger Brewery and uh, all of a sudden I did a quick Google of what, what breweries are nearby. And I said to Andy, who was driving, I says, there's, there's a brewery called Eight Arch Brewing Company. And uh, they're in Wimborne. So he did a quick Google. And obviously I'm not the driver, so I have no control. And I'm only one of four. Doesn't matter that I do beer reviews or not, you know. Uh, I'm just one one person of the quartet. Well, five of us actually, but my son don't really count because he's not a beer drinker. <laughs> uh, and he's 13. But anyway, went down, spoke to the good fellow there, and he was really nice to talk to, telling us about his expansion plans across the way and how... how how successful his brewery is and obviously when you open your brewery as a tap room it pays the bills you know electricity water cost of ingredients and to carry on doing what you're doing tap rooms these days are so so important for every brewery out there all the good breweries i personally think have got a tap room element uh, or micro pub uh, just to sell their beer and put the coin back in. You know, you're not selling to anyone. So you run out of a beer, you can chuck a new cask on or a new keg on. And, you know, brilliant. It's all your stuff. Good profit. Um, it's absolutely essential in this day and age. I tell you that, if I had the money, I'd open my own micro pub slash tap room and do my own brewing as well. Following other people's recipes, maybe, but uh, brew some good beer. What a hobby. I get very drunk along the way doing it. So, Black Paw. Uh, we'll call that a light beige head. Yeah, big chocolate aroma on this. Oh. And uh, the Black Cat. There's a big black cat there, apparently. Um, that we met, and uh, even got, she's it, he or she, I can't remember if it was a she or a he, even got her own bed in the brewery, how, how good's that? And uh, <laughs> keeps the mice and rat population down, I suppose, you know, you're always going to get that sort of thing, wherever you are these days, it's uh, it's part of life, you know, I have enough of my own issues in my own garden. Quite a, an intense um, chocolate and cacao um, flavour coming off this. Oh, and this is it. This is at shed temperature, keg temperature, and they're not far off keg temperature. You know, uh, it's not room temperature. That's for certain. At room temperature, we're talking a different beast. Oh, but it's tasting. Oh. Oh. So it's a straight up impy, more more so more, more like a like a double chocolate impy. That's that's what I'm getting from it. I may be talking absolute rubbish. I was going to say the B word, B O double O O X, but no, 
<clears throat> I made you talk a lot about it, but oh, it is tasting absolutely beautiful. And you know, it, it does make me smile. And when I've never been a fan of holiday in, in the UK because I don't see anything about it. There's no, it's bloody cold. Theme parks are crap compared to, you know, Orlando and Spain. Uh, way too many people queuing. Um, the beers, you know, in, in previous times, when we were in Spain, it's all inclusive, you know, so it's woof, 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 woof. But in the last year and a half, uh, we've changed. We've we've got friends who, who like a bit of beer, they like, they like the UK, and we've gone from... We've gone from the Scarborough area to the Great Yarmouth area. Um, and now to the Bournemouth area. So I think it's our third holiday. Is it a fourth? Third? Fourth? I think it's third. And I've discovered new breweries. Made new friends with different breweries. Spread the raggy name out there. You know, positive beer reviewer. Um... And, and certainly, wherever I can, you know, uh, on social media, uh, displayed a, a positive ethos towards beer. Positivity. There is way, way too much negativity in the world. You only have to look at the news. And it's a sad fact at the moment that the news seem to be racist and warmongers and... Um, anything to put the world down. And, you know, you can look at that and um, it drags you down. If you have social media issues, sorry, if you have mental health issues, the world we're in can put you over the edge. And uh, the best thing to do is turn that news off or complain, complain about the news. I have seen such, I've seen such racism in the news. But also warmongering on the news. And it's like, for God's sakes. Yes, you've got to report about certain things. But there's a way of doing it. But then also report about the good part of life. Because there's, a lot of, there's still a lot of positivity in this world. There's a lot of positive that goes off. Just this week, um, in my workplace, I had grown and had an amazing crop of pumpkins, uh, gourds, watermelons, butternut squash, and other things that I have no idea what they are, but they're all in that same sort of ilk. Um, and we've donated them. I harvested them all. Uh, I, I loaded the van up. My workmates, who are more front of house than I am, I don't want to be talking to people and uh, doing enough on beer reviews. But they went down, you know, they're prettier than I am anyway. Well, maybe. <clears throat> but don't tell them. Yeah, the, the ladies, not blokes. Um, but yeah, they've gone down and they've worked with Food Bank, this Food Bank, and, and people who are struggling. And, um, you know, there's children and families that, are, you know, are going through tough times. And for them to do pumpkin carving, taking pumpkins home to decorate these little pumpkins, big pumpkins, all sorts of shapes and sizes. And, you know, that is positivity. Way too much of the other rubbish in the world. Yeah. Anyway. Um... A beautiful chocolatey on this. Oh. As someone who does all grain brewing himself, although not commercial, obviously, for obvious reasons, um, that is lovely. Yeah, it's tasting really nice. Um, <clears throat> I could just fall asleep with this. 
and maybe a few more pints of it, mind you, but uh, yeah. <laughs> more in the can that's not waste we don't waste beer no drop of beer gets wasted well when i remember at least uh, <clears throat> oh, so it looks good it certainly smells good and it bloody tastes good as well a touch brewing company and i had the i went to brew dog bournemouth um there was a moment where we, me and Andy could walk into Brewdog. Ladies were shopping. And let's go in. And uh, the, the collab fest was on. I've dropped the, the bookmarks on the floor somewhere. And these guys had done a collab with Brewdog Bournemouth. And that was amazing. It's gone online today, to be fair. Uh, although, it'll be days before this will be going online. I'm literally about two or three days in advance on all beer reviews at the moment. It gives me a bit of leeway in case, in case I'm ever not feeling it or, or I have a busy day and I can't. Oh, absolutely immense. Um, chocolate. Um, big chocolate and cacao. Um it's just an absolute delight. 8.9%. Yeah, it tastes like an 8.9%. I can feel it in my legs. Um, Got to say, as somebody who went to the brewery, which is important, I, I, I go to a brewery, I talk to the people behind the brewery, and I, I understand who they are, their ethos, what they're striving for, the personality. I love good personalities, as we all do in life, don't we? We like people who are good people. And and the chap we met that day, I think his name's Steve, um, he was a really nice person. I mean, he was just about to walk off, to be fair. We walked up and, uh, oh, we're after some beer. And he let us in and he could have just said, oh, sorry, I'm closed, I'm going. <laughs> and he could have done, you know. Uh, we would never have known who he was anyway. Um but, uh, yeah, uh, and it was so chatty. And, and this is how I find that most breweries are, to be fair. They're really open, well, the good breweries at least. They're really open about what they are, what they do, their business. The, and tell us about his business. And, you know, there's no need to tell us because, you know, we don't know who we are from Adam. But uh, I was really impressed with his, with the way, you know, the way the business was for him. And then I checked the social media uh, photos on social media of the brewery, and I was well impressed myself. So, you know, and it makes me smile. It's like, you know, for all the negativity around the world of beer that you see, brewery closing down, brewery closing down, brewery closing down. It's like, Jesus Christ, you know. And then you've got breweries that are actually doing pretty bloody well. They're not smashing it out of the park, but they're doing well. You know, and that's what matters. So, cheers. Um, I've rattled. Getting a bollock, bollocking off the wire. I've come in. Let these things happen. Uh, more so, more so than I need them to. Um, but in any case, cracker of an imperial stout more of a straight up imperial stout but chocolatey like a chocolate imperial stout 8.9 percent for me absolutely smashes it uh good nose great taste you know at room temperature this would be stunning you'd need two cans though i wish i'd have bought two cans to be fair and add one at room temperature and then a room temperature review near christmas Whoa. but anyway it is what it is um out of five for me good 4.55 Cracking brewery, cracking beer. Thank you for watching. Please all. Cheers.